<laughs> hey, 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 YouTube. I thought I'd come by with a quick video. Just doing some thinking and, you know, just resting. I've been doing a whole lot of resting. Had a wonderful time on my birthday and just, I don't know, I think I must have had three days of people wishing me well and on my birthday, so. It had, had to be one of the best birthdays I've had, 68, and I just got so much stuff and so many well wishes, so I'm glad for that. I'm doing well, and I saw another doctor, and he was telling me about my back and what could be done, and the only thing they could do for me is to uh, uh, implant uh, this uh, a wire stimulator a pain stimulator and just battery and you adjust it when the pain is and I just nah I just leave it alone and take my pain medications and be like that until the end of my life and whichever comes first the end of the world or end of my life in either way it's gonna be the end so and the end is always the beginning so it never ends, so, but other than that, I'm doing great. Sonny, Sonny, don't do that. Uh, stop shaking the bed. Ooh, that's her doing that. Quit it. Um, I was, uh, looking at some of my old books and, you know, doing a whole lot of studying and thinking. And I was thinking about the stories before the Bible and, you know, in Samaria, they were talking about, uh, you know, in Gilgamesh and the Anunnaki's and all of that. And when the Bible said, let us, the Elohim, there are many gods. And just one, it wasn't so such a thing as one God. There were many gods in this creation of mankind. And you think about it, yeah, it, it had to be a lot of different people that made all of us different races of people. and. Might have been a black god that made all the black people, a white god made the white, Mexican, uh, Chinese, whatever. But we're going to make us some people that look like us, and we're going to make them hate each other. You know, that's just me thinking, but why not? And, uh, you know, when you take the whole thing in consideration, it's, it's a lot more fun when you think I enjoy it more when I think about something else besides the Bible when I think about the story of uh, Gilgamesh and, and the Anunnaki's and just a place besides earth because you know I, I made a video a long time ago about how I remembered when I was six months old my memory came back I was 30 when I remembered it. it came to me as a vision, but I remembered sitting in a clothes basket at night and looking at my mother's shadow as she took clothes off the lines. And then I saw the stars and I was so excited. I wanted to go home. I knew the stars was my home. You might say I sound crazy, but you know, I've been told that a whole bunch of times that you weird and you that and blah 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 but i did actually see this i was i was in my 30s walking in the park with my two sons and they had got excited about something they wanted to go to the swings or something i said okay y'all stay where i can see you and it's when they got out of sight it's like bam i could see a movie and i'm sitting in my mother's sitting in my mother's lap um like I didn't seem like I was three years old, but I could see my mother's, she had a green dress on, and I'm fumbling with her buttons and taking out her breasts, and I can remember how hard and crispy her bra was, because back in the day, we had them old hard cotton bras, and I remember that she didn't have any more milk, and so I pushed her breast back in her bra, I was trying to button it up. And then she gently took my hand away and started buttoning up the dress. And I just, and when that memory went away, another flash came. And I was in this basket 
at night, looking at the stars and getting excited. And then I was getting too excited. I almost turned the uh, clothes basket over. And my mother put a towel over my head so I wouldn't be excited anymore. And she rushed in the house with me. And I remember how sad I was. I felt like I had been tricked. And the feeling was like you went to daycare. Your mother dropped you off at daycare and she never came back to pick you up. And you've been waiting and waiting and she never showed up. And that was the feeling I had. I remember crying. And I didn't like nobody in the house because I was the youngest at that time. And they would all pull on me and jerk me and pull me, always trying to make me do something I didn't want to do. And I could hear this man's mean voice. That was my daddy. And he would fuss all the time. And I just said, I'm going to be here forever. They not coming. And I didn't realize that they wasn't coming because I saw those stars. When I saw the stars, I said, that's where I belong. And I remembered that they wasn't coming. And I, I was a depressed six-month-old baby. And I say I was six months old because the way I was sitting in this basket with the rest of the clothes. I was born in March. And I remember how the weather felt that night. It was cool. You know how when it's hot and then a September night, you can just feel the difference in the weather. It, it felt like a September night. And and from March to September, it's about six months. So I was six months old. But I'm saying this because if I remember the thing about my mother's breast and I told my sister about it, she said, oh, that's crazy. You always have these old crazy things. And ain't no way we could find that out, how old you were, because mama's been gone and daddy don't remember. So don't even think about it. Nobody remembers that. I said, okay. I said, but I thought I would just tell you. And I let it go, uh, maybe a month, a couple of weeks later, somewhere, you know, soon. I, I think it had to be about a couple of weeks later, we went to homecoming down in Sulphur Springs. And uh, we was having a family reunion, and everybody on my grandmother's side was dead, except for my aunt. She was a matriarch then. And I looked just like my grandmother. So we were walking up to the house and my aunt, her name is Veda. Veda was sitting on the porch and she saw me coming, me and my sister coming. And she thought I was her sister. She, Her sister's name was Mary too, my grandmother. She said, oh, May, that May, that my sister. And I kind of laughed. I said, no, hey, Veda, I'm, I'm, I'm Mary's granddaughter. My name is Mary too. And she said, what's your mama name? And I said, my number, her name was Mabel. She said, oh, you May. I said, yeah. She recognized who I was. She said, Lord May, you was a bitty baby. And I said, what's a bitty baby? She said, that's a baby sucker. His mama's titty a long time. She said, you were past two years old before Mabel got you winged. And my sister just shook her head. She said, Lord have mercy. That, that vision you saw. So all of that stuff you saw had to be true. I said, yep. I said, but I never would have thought Aunt Vader. Aunt Vader was almost in her 90s. If I had to remember how old I was when I was weaned. She had, she had to have a great memory like I do to remember stuff like that. But that made me realize these flashes of clips. That's what it was, like clips in a movie that I saw. And I'm still walking in the park, and it's like time to stood still because the boys, I don't know where they went. I don't even know where I went. But, and it's just like, next thing I know, the boys were holding my hand and said, let's go. I'm ready to go home. And I kind of shook. I said, where in the hell have I been? I see all these strange things. And and I, I never will forget it. But that, thinking about that episode of me looking at those stars at night and wanting to go back home. I don't know if I were brought here as a, they say this is a, is a prison 
planted and maybe I was being punished for something. I don't know. And there are times when I want to search it out. And then I say, oh, man, I don't know if I want to do that. And I listen to a lot of people who have these, uh, what do they call it, out-of-body experiences. And they have these uh, things where they go to different dimensions and stuff. And, and I do that, but I don't, I guess I don't entertain it enough to add it to my uh my memory my repertoire i can't i it, I, I don't know enough just like with this episode with the stars and wanting to go back home i cannot embellish it i can't add to it or take away it is just what it is and i don't get the name the name of the place i don't get to meet any people i just know this happened so my life has just been full of different sunny, excuse me, sunny, stop it. Uh, I don't get to entertain that. So my life is a bunch of little dots and you have to connect these dots. But I am not going to give up on anything, but I'm just enjoying it. And I know it's more to it than just this earth. Because the things that I do and the things that have happened to me, it's just, it's more than just phenomenal. It's, 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 I guess if I told everything, you would think I was crazy, but I don't add to the story. That's what I'm saying. A lot of people tell their story and it sounds like a make-believe because they can continue it and continue. I can't. I, I just tell you what happened and that's it. I remember one time we were long time ago it had to be in the 80s early 80s my ex and i we were at a uh a, a place like a bazaar where they sell tvs and just stuff it might have been a pawn shop i don't know but we were there and it was a sunday and the television was on and he was ready to go home you know how many all oh, let's go i'm tired and the, they were previewing the dallas cowboys they were getting ready to come on he said, no, the game coming on. I'm ready to go home. Blah, blah, blah. And I said, they going to lose 44 to nothing. I don't even know why you want to hurry up and watch them. He just looked at me and we went on did our shopping. And we get home. Dallas Cowboys lose 44 to nothing. He said, how did you know that? What made you say that? I said, I don't know. It just came off the top of my head. He said, well, you could make some money if you wanted to do that. So I said, if I wanted to do that, I wouldn't make no money. It's just stuff that come off the top of my head, and that's just it. I've been able to tell, be watching TV, and people are missing, and I say where they are. And my son said, Mama, how you know that? And it's just the next day, that's where they said they found a woman's body. I said, I don't know. I just said it off the top of my head. And it's just It just happened to be that, but there's no formula for it. It's just, you just, I don't know, you just be in tune. You don't even know what station it is, but you in tune to it and you speak it and that's it. No rhyme or reason. And I don't call myself a, a fortune teller or nothing, and, but I used to do that. And it, it got to be kind of too many people depending on me for to tell them what to do. And, and then I didn't want to be that person because people ought to be able to go within. The answers are within. And I didn't want to be somebody blocking somebody's view to their God, knowing themselves. Because in the end, we all are going to have to get acquainted with ourselves and know the God in you. Get acquainted with yourself and then you'll know God. That's, that's the way to do it. And and people ask me, well, how do I get to know myself? I would suggest that people be quiet. Just in the quietness and listen to nothing. The scriptures say, be still and know that I'm God. It's just like being quiet in, in your alone time and learning how to meditate. That is, uh, meditation is the key. And even in meditation, not not being afraid, you can, when you first start meditating and 
and you know when you're in the meditation when something comes up out of the meditation that you didn't think of yourself you know you are there and the hard thing is to stay there because when i first uh started uh doing the transcendental meditation and i'm doing this meditation and then this tree this cherry tree took one of the limbs and hit me and fussed at me and i said whoa what kind of i ain't in charge of this meditation anymore but i didn't get afraid and my son, he, I was trying to tell him about meditation, and he, oh, mama couldn't do it. I don't, I, I get sleepy. I can't do it. I can't do it. And one night, he came running in the bedroom. He said, mama, I did it. I did it. And I said, shoot, what did he do? What? I said, what, what, what? He said, I finally got in the meditation, and it really happened. I said, well, tell me about it. And he started telling me that he knew he was in the meditation, when he was, you know, he's daydreaming or relaxing, he said, all of a sudden, Bugs Bunny show up. He said, Mom, when Bugs Bunny showed up, I knew that I was there, the place where I wanted to be, and I had to calm myself down and realize this was Bugs Bunny, and he had something to tell me. And I felt like laughing. I said, so you didn't laugh when Bugs Bunny came? He said, no. And he was telling me what Bugs Bunny had to tell him, and he understood it. He said, man, that, that meditation worked. I said, it does. You just have to uh, realize that something out of the ordinary is going to show up. And that's when you are there. And you just have to not be afraid and relax and listen and go to wherever they want you to go. But meditation is the key. I got something I want to show you guys. I hope I can do it. Because Sunny is... is really driving me crazy she sonny come here she has this thing hold on a minute let me i'm not gonna put on pause i got to reach and show y'all this um uh, lord and mercy i can't even find it now but it's a, it's a probiotic thing and it's for your animal this is it probiotic uh support and it looks like this is for dogs and it stopped that itching it looks like this and it's 34 dollars you get 30 less than a dollar uh, a peel here come get this come get it but it helps tremendous and i've been giving her this for a little over a month and she her color is coming back she's playing like she was a puppy and she's not uh, you know how these dogs lick and just bite and lick and they smell bad and ear infections and stuff. She's been doing great. But this is by, you have to buy it online. It's from Pet Lab. And they gave me, they didn't give me, I ordered some cream. And I have to put it on her feet and behind her legs. Because she, she just eat her feet and all of that. It's, it's a lot of work with her. But this, this here has really helped. So, but anyway, I intend to start talking about that. But it's been a while since I've been on here. But bear with me. This is a book I read a long, long time ago. Out on a Limb with Shirley MacLaine. This woman, when this book first came out, I was young when it first came out. And they said she was crazy. She Hollywood. She done went nuts. And I read the book ages ago. But. I thought it was strange when I read it because I had never seen any aliens. And this before I even had that encounter with these visions that I had about uh, me seeing the stars and in the basket at night. I hadn't, that hadn't even happened. So it was a long time ago. But now I understand. I understand what people are talking about when they're talking about different dimensions and uh, just different things. And I just have to... Uh, you know keep studying and a few um uh, few websites i like to watch um uh, what's his name billy carson his his uh i like his youtube channel and there's another guy 
Oh, I can't think of something. I'll put it in the description box. But those two men are really informative to me. And um, I like a lot of, uh, uh, what's her name? Oh, man, she's dead now. She did a lot of uh, past life regressions. Okay, my mind go blank. And, man, I tell you what, it's scary when your mind go blank. Uh, me and Harold were, were eating something the other day, and I had some leftover from what we ate, but it was some cauliflower, but it wasn't in a bowl. It had broken away, and it looked just like broccoli, but it was white. And I forgot what that stuff was and I looked at it and I got nervous I said well this is broccoli but it's white why is it white I, I almost panicked and I finally called Harold and I said well why is this broccoli white what do, what do you call it when it's white like that and he said Mary what's the matter I said I can't think of the name of this I said is it white broccoli and he calmed down he said no Mary it's called cauliflower and we said cauliflower, it's still, I didn't recognize. I said, well, why is it a flower? And where did they get the cauliflower from? He laughed. He said, he said uh, what what I got, you catching it. Because he, he, I thought he was absent man. Here I go catching what he got. But I could not think of what what that was. It's cauliflower. I thought I'd say, that is when you realize you're losing it. Wow. I don't want that to happen, but when it happens, you don't even know it happens, so it can't be too bad. But anyway, ooh, I'm talking 21 minutes, but anyway, out on a limb, especially for you younger people, I know y'all, it's a pretty book, big book, but I am still on my journey and excited about it, and you know, I know a lot of people out there, they got all this stuff and just different stories and the stories don't add up and that's when they come with a conclusion, but I'm not trying to figure it. When I figure it out, I might tell somebody and I may not because nobody believe me anyway. So I just said, it's just for my benefit only. But anyway, guys, I'm going to get off here and work on Sunny because I got to put this cream on her. She's going to eat up her feet all. Anyway, I'm fixing to go. I'll talk to you later. Oh, don't forget to check my podcast out, too. I, I work on them because I'm, I'm just basically reading some of the books that I wrote. I'm working on going home another way. I'll be finished with it uh, in a minute, but you have to bear with me because... I try to read and you make mistakes and sometimes I'm reading Sunny is making noise and snoring and scratching and it's a collar jingling. So just remember it's this old lady reading a book that she wrote in shoot in the nineties. So <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoy it. Check out my podcast. I'll leave leave a link to it too in the description box. But anyway, good night guys. Bye.